I'm Andre Fritsch, Senior Product Manager at R-Star. Are you running a Rockwell control system and trying to integrate Remote I.O. IS1 Plus? I'm here to show you how. To get it out of the way, it is possible to directly embed and configure IS1 Plus in Rockwell Studio 5000, but that would leave you with a view like this, unstructured and hard to operate. Here's the smarter option. Our device type manager allows you to export configurations at S on instruction sets or AOIs for import into Studio 5000. Like this, every remote I.O. shows its I.O. modules and every I.O. module shows its signals. Much clearer and much easier to work with. To get there, you need Rockwell Studio 5000 software as well as remote I.O. IS1 Plus hardware whether you're still in the planning phase or have it integrated and running in a productive process. You also need the IS1 Plus DTM in revision 3.18 or higher and the Ethernet IP electronic data sheet or EDS, all conveniently available on our website if you don't already have them. To use the DTM, your PC must have an FTT frame installed. We are going to use M&M FTT container in this video, but you can use any vendor you like. The process will be the same, your window will just look a little bit different. Got it all? Time to get started. Start up your FTT frame and select an existing project or create a new route by clicking Empty Project. For our example, we select a 9442 CPU with Ethernet IP from the list of available communication devices, but a 9441 CPU could be used in a similar way. Simply drag and drop as many as you need over here or use the add or OK button. When you've added the CPU or CPUs, new selectable elements will appear. Now you can add up to 16 I.O. modules from the device catalog. Some FTT frames simplify this process with an automatic scan and create feature. This configuration shows an IS1 Plus with a 9442 CPU and four configured I.O. modules. But before we can go online, we first need to set the service bus address in the DTM and select the large Ethernet IP structure like this. When we are done configuring the CPU in the FTT frame, we'll establish a connection between the DTM and this CPU to transfer the configuration. Simply right click on the CPU and click connect. The remote IO IS1 Plus system itself is configured. Time to export this configuration into Rockwell. To create a set of add-on instructions, click Additional Functions and then Create Rockwell AOI. Enter a file name, we call it Test9442D, select the location and press Save. Don't worry about the command window, it's just showing us some info before closing itself. Your remote I.O. is fully configured with the DTM, on to hook it into Rockwell. Before, we need to set an IP address for the IS1 Plus service bus interface on the website of the CPU. 9442 has two IP addresses, one for connecting to the Rockwell system and one for the DTM service bus. Use different IP addresses, but the same subnet. To hook it into Rockwell, we first have to download the electronic data sheet for your CPUs from our website. When you have the right EDS file, the next step is to install it in Studio 5000. Open the IS1 Plus EDS file by clicking Tools and Import to select the file we just saved. The next step is to get our add-on instructions ready. Go to I.O. Configuration, select the Ethernet card and then New Module and click your way through to Ethernet, where you're adding a new device. Entering 944 into the search box will show all available R-Star CPUs. We select the 9442. Remember to also use the same name you entered before. In our case, test 9442D. Now enter the DCS IP address, not to be confused with the service bus address you used for the DTM. You can choose from two connections depending on the scale of your remote I.O. installation. Keep the standard settings and use the S-in format for size. Your IS1 Plus AOIs have been created. Time to import them into Studio 5000. First, click on Tasks, then Main Tasks, select Main Program and finally Main Routine. Now right-click on Main Routine, afterwards right-click on End in the window and pick Import Runs from the context menu that opens. Select the AOI file you just created 
and confirm by clicking Import Configuration. This screen opens itself when the first Remote.io instruction set has been imported. Rank 0 is a non-functional dummy entry, so delete it right away. Now you can import your remaining AOIs. Remember that the DTM always generates one AOI per remote IO. So if you have 10 remote IOs, you need to import 10 AOIs. That's it. Now you can check out the results of your work under controller tags. All your inputs and outputs are neatly listed, tagged at the end with in or out respectively. Clear, informative and easy to work with, just like it should be. We've used the 9442 CPU in our example, but you can tie 9441 CPUs into Rockwell by simply using the same process. When it comes to reading out your I.O. modules, the only major difference between them is that 9442 uses 32 variables for hard, that is 4 per loop, while 9441 can only map 8 hard variables. Your remote I.O. IS1 Plus is now perfectly integrated into your Rockwell control system. And as we have seen, it's not very hard to do, when you know how. Do you still have any questions? Then contact us for the answers. Our support specialists are happy to help with any issues you may have. So long. Thank you.